Hello, everybody, <coughs> and welcome to the video of my coolest little device project, whatever. I'm sure some of you have seen something like this before, but for those of you who haven't, what you're staring at here is simply known as the Motorola Lap Dock. This particular design was used for both the Atrix and I forget which model of droid phones. All it really is is just a battery, keyboard, a trackpad touchpad with left and right click, and a screen. That's a 1366 by 768 resolution. No CPU or motherboard in it. Picked this thing up for about 42 bucks and change off eBay and it's in good working condition. And I also picked something else up. And that's what makes this project interesting. Bam. What you're looking at there it's a Tron Smart MK908 PC stick. You know, you plug it into your HDTV and you got Android operating system on it. This particular unit is the most powerful one at the time of recording. I'm sure in a few years, some of you watching this, there'll be more powerful ones out, but as of now, this is the most powerful model. It's got 1.8 gigahertz quad core CPU, a Mali 400 GPU that's running about I think nearly 600 megahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and 8 gigs of flash storage plugged in. Got it. Now, there's just one problem with this though. This thing needs about 2 amps of 5 volt DC to run, or 2000 milliamps. And I found that the USB power output where the phone dock here is, it only puts out about 700 milliamps, so start up some high powered applications and games and stuff PC would reboot so I just simply cheated and hooked in a, um, a USB cable for a portable hard drive I have that has a data cable and then a second power plug to the two ports on the back giving me I believe an extra amp so 1.7 amps of power haven't had this thing restart yet while playing games okay here we go let's see what we got here and bammo naysayers there's no way I can fake that is there that's obviously Android operating system here it's pretty good you can play some powerful games on it and other whatnot the only problem is that whenever I go to fire it up I have to run external power for a minute because <clears throat> when you close the lid on this thing it will cut power to the USB ports for a few seconds which will reset the PC and I have to close the lid for about 10 seconds because in default mode when you connect this to a screen it goes to 720 by 576 um, video mode and that looks terrible so I have to close the lid wait for it to a few seconds about 10 or 12 open it before I can select 720p on output this is by no means the final version of the project, but this is how I've got it running for now, just to play with it. And just to show you that it is running fully off of the built-in battery power as well, you notice I've only got one cord here, and that's the battery connection cable right down here. Kind of hard to see. There's no other cords coming off of it. In fact, I'll go ahead and unplug it. Phew. And you'll notice no other cables hanging off of it here. It's running fully off of its own battery now. And I'm going to start up a game that takes a lot of power. And for those of you who hate bronies, forgive me, but this is the most powerful game I have installed. It's the game off My Little Pony game, and it sucks a lot of power. So I apologize for that, but it works for what I'm doing so yes I'm a brony get over it <clears throat> wait for the ad to go away if anybody knows how to get rid of these damn ads if I can pay a fee or something please let me know because this is starting to piss me off touchpad works you can see the mouse pointer there. So there you go. Get rid of this stupid ad. Uh, 
on my phone, I'd have some slowdown when playing the game, but not so here. Right now I'm using the touchpad, but testing, I can use the a regular mouse plugged into a USB port on it, and it works really good. And being a nice big screen, I don't have to scroll around quite so much since my haven't played it much yet. But there you go. Powerful Android PC laptop. Hope you enjoyed. And again, sorry for those of you who hate us bronies, but that's the most powerful game I have to demonstrate it running. As I said, no cords. Fully running off its own power by using all of the voltage regulator output that I can for USB power. So, there you go. Peace out.